I hope you had a happy gladiola month. Did you even know it was a gladiola month? Hmm. <laughs> it's amazing because after the season, the, the gladiola's flowering season was over, I, dis I, I, I thought, ah, let me just um, dig up the bulbs and I see how many they were. So I did that and I found five and I was so happy. <laughs> I had five of them. So uh, the usual me, I picked all of them. Then I put them in a container, placed them somewhere outside and I forgot for two weeks. Within those two weeks, rain happened and the container was full of water. Guess what? After some time, I came back and hey, there was all these shoots happening. Everything was shooting. There were shoots. And I wondered, hey, is this just one bulb shooting or is it, what is it? So I decided, let me keep it. Let me watch. Let me watch and see what's going to happen. And then I saw more of, more of that happening. I was like, whoa happy 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 because i figured out that from one bulb i can get many more shoots and that is what i'm going to show you today this will be a seedling yeah this will be a seedling If this doesn't happen, then I need a plan C, which is my razor blade. So you just have to have precision cutting. Just to ensure that nothing goes to waste. Should we do that? We will cut each and every one of them. I think I figured removing this, um, the husks, for lack of a better word, will help in uh, just identifying where the the, the grooves are and in a way that you are able to to figure out where to cut so I guess the first thing to do is remove the, the covering and these are already three if you can see one two three so I'll try and cut for the three So I'll, I'll go right ahead and create more of it. So these are get five and one, two. I'll get three from this. And then we can plant them. I'll show you what I had planted earlier. Um, this is what I had done. And clearly, they are also looking extremely happy. I want to plant the gladiolas in this section because the, um, I have dahlias, daisies and you know and, and begonias and it's, they all don't bloom at the same season and I'm sure you guys you understand that. So if I put the gladiolas here I can still have the, the gladiolas you know um, blooming and they are high enough <laughs> it looks monumental when you're walking down the stairs just to make some sort of uh, an edge and so if you're sitting on the veranda then you should be able to see the flowers that is actually one of my, the catchy things because some of the flowers that I have they are too low so if you're out in the house you're not able to see them but the dahlias and a bit of the daisies and the gladiolas are high enough they, they grow tall so I'm able to see. Um, so shall we 
make use of the cuttings that we got. I'll put two just so that it's not lonely. <laughs> Always remember to farm up the soil and as always during the dry season leave some sort of a trap so the water can collect in here and then make sure you water as soon as you plant. Just do have a happy gladiola month and uh, oh yeah August is already gone it was the gladiola month and just in case it wasn't a gladiola month for you you can let me know when the flowers are blooming share 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 as much as you can And I am sure most of us, most of us do know. <laughs> this, this, this is the day that the noise was made. 